Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a XAMPP server running on Windows Server 2019 hosted on Amazon Web Services. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for AWS. And from here, you want to create a new EC2 virtual machine with this particular image. Now this image comes with pre-installed XAMPP server and all of the prerequisites along with other features like Apache, MariaDB, FTP using FileZilla and so much more. So simply click on continue to subscribe. After that, you will be brought to this subscription page from where you need to click on accept terms and then wait for the subscription validation process to complete. Now once the subscription validation process is done, simply click on continue to configuration. After that, you will be brought to this page from where you can choose the AMI, the software version and most importantly, the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. So once satisfied with the settings, simply click on continue to launch. And then you would be brought to this page from where you get two different options to launch the EC2 virtual machine from either this website or from the EC2 management console. So what I like to do is that I like to change it from website to EC2 and then click on launch. Now this opens up a new tab with EC2 management console. Now in this tab, you get to customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name. So I'm going to call mine as XAMPP. And then scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box. After that, scroll down and choose the instance type according to your requirements. And then choose a key pair by the creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one. Remember that this is the key pair that we would be using to connect to our virtual machine for an RDP connection. After that, you can leave the network settings as default. When satisfied with the settings, simply click on launch instance to actually create this virtual machine. So wait for the deployment process to complete. Now once the deployment process is done, the next step is to connect to our virtual machine using an RDP connection. Now for that simply click on view all instances. After that simply right click on your virtual machine's name and then click on connect. After that simply head over to the RDP client. Now as you can see that we have the public DNS, we have the username but we do not have the password yet. So simply click on get password. Now it is going to ask you to upload your key pair. So click on browse and locate your key pair. Once that is done, simply click on decrypt password and now you have your password written over here as well. Now to establish an RDP connection, simply hit windows and type in remote desktop connection and then what you're going to do is that you're going to copy this public DNS and paste it in front of this computer field and then click on show options, copy this username, paste it in front of the username field and then click on connect. After that, it is going to ask you for the password. So copy this password and paste it in this field and then click on OK. And then it is going to prompt you one more time. So click on yes and then wait for the connection to be fully established. Now once the connection has been established, you just need to wait for the Windows Server 2019 to completely load. Now once the Windows Server has completely loaded, you can start working with XAMPP. Now to start off, we are going to open up the XAMPP control panel from the desktop. Now within this XAMPP control panel, you can see all of these features and services that come with XAMPP. So to start any feature, simply click on the start button. Since I'm going to show most of them to you, so I'm going to start all of them. As you can see that these are the ports on which all of these services are running. So in case you want to visit the dashboard or the admin panel for any of these services, then simply click on this admin button. So let's start off with the Apache dashboard. So to open up the Apache dashboard, simply click on this admin button. And this is going to open up the Apache dashboard, which is hosted on localhost in the Internet Explorer. Now, as you can see that this is the Apache dashboard. Now, next up, we have MySQL. Now, this XAMPP server comes with MariaDB and that can be managed with phpMyAdmin. Now to open up the phpMyAdmin, simply click on this admin button right in front of MySQL. Now as you can see that it is also hosted on localhost. It did not ask us for any password or for any user credentials. That is because with a fresh install of XAMPP, you do not have any set password for the root user. Therefore, you can log in without any requirement for credentials. Anyways, the next feature we have is FileZilla, which is used for FTP services. So to open up the portal or admin panel for FileZilla, simply head back over to XAMPP control panel and simply click on this admin button. This is going to open up this tiny dialog box, which is going to connect at localhost at the port number 14147, which is the port number for FileZilla. And again, the administration password at current moment is set to blank. So simply clicking on OK would connect us to FileZilla server. And lastly, we have the Apache Tomcat. Now to connect to Apache Tomcat, simply click on this admin button. 
and as you can see that this Apache Tomcat is hosted on the port number 8080. Anyways, if you need help or if you need guide in setting up all of these services or configuring them, then you can visit the how to guide by XAMPP. So to open that up, simply come to the desktop and open this file which says getting started. There would be this link, so copy this link and paste it inside the Internet Explorer. This is the Windows how to guide on how to configure all of the services and features that come with XAMPP. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And also make sure to check out the links in the description box for the marketplace listing for AWS and also for the step-by-step -step blog post guide on how to set up XAMPP server on Windows Server 2019 on AWS. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.